From the Tribune News Network, this is Newsbreak. I'm Kirk Smith. Friday's top story, some people are letting their guards down. That from the Ministry of Health now pointing to what officials are calling clusters as being responsible for the recent spike in the coronavirus cases in the country. Health officials holding the latest news conference yesterday where Chief Medical Officer Dr. Pearl McMillan revealed that as many as four of those so-called clusters led to the recent spike in cases. Those clusters are being linked to each other and we have to do what is required uh, from a contact tracing perspective as well as increasing our public messaging to ensure that we, uh, as best as we can, get the community to realize that We are not out of the pandemic. We have done well. The chief medical officer did not identify where those clusters are, but she says they're doing what they have to do to contain and to educate. Latest numbers, 10 confirmed cases on Wednesday in four different islands, four of them in the capital. As for the hospital numbers, it's up to 15 with three persons in the ICU. Prime Minister Minutes is scheduled to address the country on Sunday, and he could be releasing information on vaccine distribution then. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. A bomb scare at the Magistrates Court complex here in the capital yesterday morning, forcing a total evacuation of that complex. The area was searched. No bomb was found. The all clear given by police around noon and judicial proceedings continued for the rest of the day without incident. Elections are not mandated until May next year, but you can't tell that by the level of back and forth between the two major parties. PLP leader Davis calling a news conference yesterday to accuse the FNM of using fake social media ads to harm the PLP's chances in the next elections. FNM officials are describing the claim as nonsense. On another matter, PLP leader Davis has denied that there's been any discussion with FNM West Grand Bahama MP Pakisha Parker Edgecombe about her joining the PLP. In Grand Bahama, 36-year-old 8 Mile Rock resident Eric Strawn has been arraigned in court on charges of raping a 74-year-old woman back on February 15th. No plea required. He's being held for now. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com. Now the Tribune's AccuWeather update, a service of insurance management, a frontal system approaching from the west, associated weather over the weekend. Partly sunny, highs from the low to mid-80s today. 81 at Freeport, 82 in the capital, 84 at Matthew Town. No marine advisories now. Winds generally 10 to 15 knots, the seas 2 to 4 feet, but winds and seas will increase behind that front. Low tide now, the next higher on 2 this afternoon. Turning partly cloudy tonight, maybe late showers, lows from the low to mid-70s. If you need additional weather information, check the Tribune's weather page. For your insurance needs, you want to call Insurance Management. They wish everyone a safe and prosperous year. Give them a call today for all of your insurance needs. They offer a wide range of insurance products. With more than 40 years in business, nobody does it better than Insurance Management. This is Newsbreak from the Tribune News Network. Let the Bahamas and the world know that you're open for business by advertising in the Tribune and on Tribune242.com. Reach the market that'll get your cash registers ringing by calling 502-2394 today. All professional advertising agents are on hand to customize packages just for you and consultations are free. Give your business the maximum exposure for an affordable investment and let us help you increase your sales. Call 502-2394 today. We're open for business. Let the world know you are too. The Tribune, the people paper biggest and best friday's world news headlines that second winter storm now clearing the east coast of the u.s and finally some warm weather expected by the middle of the week in the country the fallout continues especially in the state of texas where millions of persons are still without electricity and the temperature remains colder than usual officials say they're beginning to get the power back on though that weather happened coronavirus vaccine distribution across the country also Travel severely disrupted by those two storms. World vaccination programs continue in other countries, though. Britain's Prince Philip has spent a third night in hospital. Tribune's gas tracker prices heading into the weekend. Shell 437, SO439, Rubus $4.39 per gallon in the capital. Now your sports notes brought to you by the Tribune Sports Section. Plans reveal now for the return of baseball and softball 
out of the coronavirus. Read about it in the Tribune Sports. Buddy Heel and the Kings ran into the Miami Heat last night in the NBA. Find out what happened and how Heel did in that game. Get the rest of the NBA update in the Tribune Sports also. And find out who's in the women's singles finals in Melbourne. All the information in the Tribune Sports Friday. For all of your sports details, you want to check the Tribune Sports section. Everything you need from the world of sports, you'll find in the Tribune Sports. And that's your news break. Details of the day's top stories in the Tribune newspaper on the streets first thing in the morning. Stay up to date online at Tribune242.com.